Uh, we're doing c- census the fourth year. We're gonna start our third year of Cottage. I'll um, miss playing beta with you. Uh, are you ready for your f- first official practice as the Gif- Griffinal Keeper? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be Keeper in this season. Today marks the beginning of a new Cottage journey, and as you can see, we have a guest. It's good to be back with the Griffinal team. Haven't seen most of you since the Cottage Cup final. Thought I'd stop by for a spot of training, particularly since you, you have got a new keeper. That's where our former keeper, John, the big town wanderers, he said to tell you to keep making Griffin proud. Shouldn't it be a problem? You have won the Cottage Cup tr- two times in a row. You are the best team at Hogwarts, and you can't be the best Cottage team at Hogwarts without uh, Team Oak. Griffin knows the thread that binds our team. When we work together, we re- reinforce this stitching. Today, we shall help one another. We find our skill and goal as a, as members of the Griffin Cottage team. Hidden bludgers at the sequel, and Chaser will try to score against our new keeper. I believe I'm getting the hand of playing Keeper. Some smashing job. Let's give it one more go. Well done. Keepers and Chasers work together to keep the Crawford and Griffin's grasp. How are you feeling about playing Keeper? I'm excited to play Keeper. I can hardly wait for our first house match. That's the spirit. I'm sure you'll be brilliant. Uh, we shall... S- sh- we shall soon put your skills to the test in a friendly match against Ravenclaw. Smashing, though the match will not determine our place in the race for the Quidditch cr- 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 Cup. Uh, it's vitally important and shall test the tone for the season ahead. I'll ask Penny to f- and face paint kid after practice. They'll help me prepare. Let's see our first practice match as keep the keeper. And only advance from the opposition. Does Dan have the reach to catch the crawfle? What? What the fuck was that? What the hell was that? That's way different from B Tone Keeper. Okay. What the fuck? This is weird. I don't like this one. I don't like this one at all. I don't like this one at all. I'll provide color commentary for your friendly match. Looking forward to the friendly. We have got a friendly match soon. Hope you're up for it.
Did you just get back from Quidditch practice? You'll never guess who stopped by Ethan Parkin. I've still got my autograph, a copy of One Wonder of Wigtown Wanderers. Training with Ethan Parkin will g- really give Griffin an edge. Can't wait to watch you, pl- you play Keeper. You don't have to wait long. We'll have a friendly match against Ravenclaw soon. Just like the one we watched together, the first Kurdish match you ever saw. Uh, do you have enough time to prepare? You haven't ha- had much time pra- um, practicing uh, Keeper. I'm quite excited about playing Keeper, but I want to make sure I'm ready for the match. With a new edition of my patented Courage Quiz, let's review. There was certainly a lot of information about Keepers. Thank you, I've got a grip of playing Keeper. Suppose I'll find out in a moment. Let's play, put you your Keeper knowledge to the test. I'm ready, what's the question? Uh, how many Keepers are on a Courage team? That's correct, each Kurdish team has one keeper. Uh, I'm sure you know the answer to the next question. What is a keeper's role? A keeper must guard the goal goalposts and prevent the other team from scoring. Uh, which ball should a keeper prioritize? Uh, must prioritize the quaffle. A keeper's focus should always be on the keeping. Uh, should always be on keeping the quaffle from passing through the goalposts. Which skill is the most most important for a keeper? I need excellent reflexes. Fortunately, I'm a th- quick thinker. It's time for the final Keeper quiz, uh, quiz question. Most important of all, how many goal posts does a Keeper guard? Three goal posts. A Keeper is responsible for the three goal posts. What do you think, Face Paint Kid? How did Dark Coast do? You answered every question correctly. Does that mean I'm ready for the friendly? I'd say you're ready to play in the real house match. Speaking of which, speaking of the match, I should get going. Good luck. Let's go play some courage. I want a nice clean game. Parkin seems to be in good spirits. I wound up in a hospital win after a friendly like this. Good job, you made it. It's almost time for your first he- match as a Gryffindor keeper. I suppose we'll see if I can keep up as a keeper. Oran said it was still an important match. Uh, I'm working on being less of a uh, less of a prat, uh, which is why we should listen to Oran. While this match will not influence our stra- staying in, in the Quidditch Cup, it's our, it is our duty to show all of Hogwarts what Gryffindor team can do. We will face Ravenclaw soon after a brief moment of verification. Verification? It was a friendly match, but we cannot let that distract us from our goal. I hope you will all take this opportunity to... Demonstrate your skill and work together as a team. It is time to play Quidditch. My first Quidditch friendly as a keeper. I hate this so much.
There we go. I don't get what the uh, coffle is doing, but sure. What the fuck? So if I hit the coffle, it reduces my skull? That's stupid. Oh, Owen. Give him some room. Will he be alright? I'll get him to the hospital when. To take out a captain in a friendly match. You see, we don't spread rumors about everyone better than us. You would never win a match if you only... If you only only decent player didn't injure anyone who stands in that whole way. Hidden bludges is the ruddy point. She put me in the hospital in and then Sky and now you're our captain. I've never seen our Kurdish team argue like this. At least it's not a rigged town wanderers match, nothing that escalates an argue argument like a meat cleaver. It was an accident, I didn't mean to hit the bludger. Uh he'll be fine sooner or later. That's why I know you didn't mean it. This is getting out of hand. We should see how he's doing. Good good idea. Let's go visit our Warren in the hospital when Oh, we're gonna go visit Owen. What's going to happen to the Griffino team? Wrath Scott No showing up out here after what she did. I saw what happened with Owen be all right. It looks like you are doing better. Just wanted to apologize. I understand and baby you know it will. But for the crowd I'll leave it you all to it. How are you feeling? Uh concerned Rath told me what occurred on the pitch after my departure. But that's an understatement it was a war. But now that you're all better, everything should settle down. I'm afraid that's not the case. What do you mean? I can no longer fly. Allow me to explain. My injury has shaken my balance. Without balance, I cannot play cottage. I don't understand. You seem fully healed. When I use was in the hospital, when I couldn't wait to get back to um, cottage. Perhaps Martin Pomfrey can tell us what's wrong. You have come to visit your captain. He visited me uh, when I was here after all. Is it true that he can't fly anymore? He's fully healed as far as I can see. The cause of his current distress is a mystery. Now that's enough excitement for one day. Mr. Amari needs his rest. Not sure if rest will be of any help. Uh, magic can heal most injuries. Bludgers may be magical, but bludgers related injuries aren't. Are you suggesting that Owen is lying to us? Do you believe Owen? I believe Owen. If he says he can't play Kurdish, it must be true. Owen wouldn't lie about something like that, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm too physical. <laughs> You mean the one's injury is emotional? Unfortunately, I have no idea what to do about it. 
but I'm sure other cringe players have gone through something like this before. Let's talk to Murphy. Glad you are here. Did you visit Tehran? He looked healthy, but he says he can't fly anymore. That's why I said, what's wrong with him? I says he recovered physically, but something's keeping him grounded. He said he lost his equilibrium. Uh, I've never heard anything like this before. I ha have any other cridge players lost the balance like Iran has? Has been around for nearly a thousand years. There's got to be something. We'll help you search. Based on stories about cridge players, uh, it depends on what exactly is throwing it off. If the injury shook his confidence, it could cause 82 point three decrease in his cridge performance, and that would decrease his confidence further, potentially destroying his self sense of self. Uh, but also, for the sake of Griffin's team, Good to see you up in the boat. Thank you. I was hoping the three of you would be here. Aren't you feeling better now? My physical injury is fu has fully healed. Uh, so what's keeping you off your boomstick? I convinced that it shook my confidence. But when Rath told me of the conflict that it took place on the pitch, I knew that the responsibility was mine. I have failed as a captain. A strong captain accounts for at least 49.7% of the team's success. Come on, you don't think this is Owen's fault, do you? Of course not. None of it's his fault. Uh, you'll get through this. Perhaps we can help you find the sp your spark again. We'll help you and help the Griffin of the team. We'll do whatever it takes. The three of you are my truest friends. We should get started. The Griffin of the team depends on it. Let's go meet a one. You were brilliant. I saw what happened. Are you friendly? Appreciate your aid. Without my spark for Quidditch, I cannot see the path ahead. Your injury may have shaken your balance. I'll help you find it again. Are you ready to find a way to reignite your Quidditch spark? Where shall we begin? Uh, where do you feel like you're missing it? Uh, as captain, I've tried to inspire peace and sportsmanship in our competitions. They are arguing because they care about you. And that, and that is where so our bonds of fellowship should not pit us against each other. With your opponents, what guides you? All it takes is a bit of friendliness. Rival is simply a friend I haven't made yet. I only wish our teammates would have shared it. You have a loyalty of Agnizel. Now remember when you told me to emulate for magical creatures? Every Kurdish player needs loyalty, compassion, tenacity, and fire. Here's what we can do to ignite your spark. I have got an idea that could help restore your balance. Before I joined the G G Griffin Oakridge team, you told me to emulate four different creatures. The patience of a flubberworm, the tenacity of a nif niflo, and the fire of a fire crab. Allowed fire, fire and loyalty to overwhelm no pa patience and tenacity. That's why you feel off balance. But that doesn't mean you can't get your balance back. You can emulate those creatures even if our teammates can't. 
Uh, you have the wisdom of a centaur. How will we proceed with a bit of help from, with, uh, from all of our friends in Quidditch? Attend Quidditch practice. Does this mean no more moment, moments of vivification? I wonder if we should be seeking a new team captain. I've got an idea. I'm going to help him practice patience, loyalty, tenacity, and fire. Uh, in the meantime, we still have courage practice. It's like it feels like something is missing. We haven't got a captain. Hope it doesn't affect our team too much. Think we can make up, make it through the season with our captain. We won't have to. We'll help Owen, and he can be our captain again. Filling in for him won't be an easy job for anyone. It's time to get the team balanced again. So let's start with some boom balancing exercises. That could have gone worse. Wasn't so sure we could do one of Oran's exercises with our Oran. No one fell off the boom. I'd call it success. I uh, accept it will help. I uh, expect it will help Oran. Uh, my plan is to help him find patience, loyalty, and tenacity and fire, but I can't do that on my own. Any ideas? Perhaps you should take him to play with chess with Morphe. Patience, that's brilliant. Really? I was only joking. You're, yes, chess is all about patience. The patience of a flubber room is one of Oran's tenets. Uh, of, uh, Suppose you're right. After our team practice, I'll go get Oran and Murphy to meet up for a game of Wizards Chest. Practice patience. Hope Murphy doesn't challenge me. May or may not be working on a new quiz. quiz. Thank you for inviting me. Some sense patience is one of your Quidditch tenets, uh, and we need our captain back. I thought that Wizard Chess would be the perfect game, especially when playing against me. I should probably tell you I am rather unfamiliar with Wizard Chess. Well, who better to learn from than the Wizard Chess master? I would say you flatter me, uh, given that Oran says he's unfamiliar with the game. And then consider my mastery of it, and then factor in then the conditions of Oran's recent injury. Wouldn't discount Oran so quickly. This host, I quite like it. I shall name it Steve. It is a host, and his name is Steve. And he's a knight. I think you should start playing with the chess now. I'll help you. I'll help coach you. Uh, coach you well, but it, this is checkmate. You win again, Murphy. Statistically speaking, McNally didn't have the upper hand. I've never played with his chess before. The statistical anom anomaly of beginner's luck is infinitesimal. infinitesimal. Uh, I would have to disagree with me his initial assessment, assessment of his chance of winning being 93. I'll have to disagree with your disagreement of my in initial assessment. You relied much too heavily on your knight. His name is Steve, and he played an integral role in capturing your pawns, as evidenced by the fact that I captured 87.5% of your, your pawns with Steve. Where did you get... <laughs> where did that statistic even come from? Pawns are only worth one pawn. Capturing all eights is equivalent to capturing a rook and a knight or a bishop. Pawns do not matter in the grand scheme of things. I took seven of your pawns, which is seven less pieces you can use for distraction. There's only one way to settle this. Do you ha Have you finished talking <laughs> about wizard chess? However, I would like to know, what do you think of Oran's com commentating? 
I find it amusing and one mimic and news quite entertaining. We are having a very serious discussion. There's nothing to laugh at, though I must say that instead of reaching a uh, teaching patience so oh, match our uh, match seems to have depleted the one's patience. You have a tenacity tendency to do to be pa- impatient, Mophi. That seems to be what Owen has picked up on. But I'm not sure why. But to get the root of the problem, one must ask how as well, and then look inward for the answer. On another aspect of Owen's future inspired training, another training session is simply another session for, of strategy, and who am I to question strategy? God damn it. The, the next thing would be the tenacity of a Niflo. I think I know exactly who to see for that wrath. Thanks for letting us join you, f- you for bludger practice, indubitably. No trouble, at least I can do after putting you in the hospital in. Uh, still, I'm just glad you're up and about. I'm a bit confused, neither of you is playing B2. Ron's having de- trouble with his balance, metaphorically. But when I first started playing Quidditch, she told me to in- emulate four creatures. And then they need the patience of a flubberworm, and then they need the tenacity of a niflu, and finally they need the fire of a fire crab. So I thought that hidden bludgers at training dummies will help him find his tenacity. Wait, then pick up a beetle's back and hit bludgers. Uh, let's practice beating the bludgers. Not bad. Amari intense, you'd make a fair beetle. Thanks. It's like you said before, we're all beaters, supposed to. Rather tactitum. And so, you're right. This happened when we played chess with Murphy now. Not sure what it's about. He started talking like Murphy. We had a good laugh about it. Don't know much about McNally. He seems alright, but talkative. I suppose that's why Scott suggested we play chess with him to play to try Oran's patience. No, you came to me for help. I haven't told all the details. She didn't like it when you asked me to train you as a B2. Think she'll react poorly this time? Sky will understand. Uh, she knows how important it is to help her on. Hope you're all right about that. Parkin's got a bit of a tempo. Still, she seems different after the friendly. Uh, we have practice patience and tenacity. Sky's fire is sh- exactly what we need to restore your balance. Let's go meet Sky then. Hey, are you ready to reignite your fire? Yes, something wrong. We will train with Wrath to help Oran with his tenacity. That's one way to get back in form. I knew you would understand. Glad to hear it. Oran's got some of the tenacity back, but I think we need a bit more fire. Don't know about that, but I do know that he, what you need, Oran, is to get back on the boomstick. Why don't we pass the coffle around to smash an idea? I'll take that as a yes, let's f- fly. Pass it here. You asked for it. Try flicking your boomstick, smashing way to block your crawl. Nice. Smashing job. Don't own the world, do you? I got to dash. P- potion starts in a few minutes. Need time to read my notes. What was that about? I think he's acting like you. Blimey, am I really that insufferable? You're not insufferable. A bit headstrong, but hardly insufferable. Kind of you to say. Or on should have... Ask you for help with patience. 
still acting like me, he won't get Owan back to his old self. I hope that all of this would help Owan find his balance and remind him who he is. It seems like he's becoming more like everyone else. Perhaps this isn't helping him after all. He may need more time. Fortunately, we don't have it. Our first proper house match is coming up. And we have pl we are playing Ravenclaw until Owan is ready to be our captain again. It's up to us to prepare our team for the house match. Chapter 3